with this clever second shot. This guy can flush with an iron in his hand. If he's got a comfortable yardage, you can almost bet your bottom dollar he's going to get himself a decent look for birdie. Powerful man, just busted one down the tee. And from 102 in the morning, probably just a caressed lob wedge. It's target practice in these sorts of conditions from the fairway, Lisa. Marty Doe on the tee at 13. That follow through tells me he saved that a little bit, was out in front of it and gave it the treatment with the hands, but that's okay now. Some of the good shots. Kramer Hickok. Long birdie putt. Uh-huh. Augusto Nunez is on the tee back at the 13th. I appreciate this. One of the few guys that have gone over to the left side, trying to shoot it a little bit more up the green. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful shot. Yeah, 13, this is what he did from off the green, John. Yeah, just right at the whole location, that little collection area, and that helps a lot. The year has changed, but this is really has been the strength of Sam's game the last couple of years, dialing it in from one around 100 and, well, from 75 to 150 yards. Third shot at La Quinta, par five fifth. For all these players, Doug, you do not want anything other than a putter in your hand for your third shot here. Very nicely controlling that spin, Patrick Cantlay. John Rahm, the win at the Century Tournament of Champions, past champ here. Nice tee shot there at the opening hole at La Quinta. Takes advantage of this wedge shot, spins it back. Perfect spin control. Well done for John Rahm. Looking to go back to back here at the second. Tough tee shot here at the second. La Quinta Country Club takes advantage of a good tee ball. Puts the ball right in the middle of the green. Nice little 25 footer. Now Schwab, after hitting it in the water, his third shot to this position. Leaving the pin in. For bogey, that's wow. a great four. That is a great four. What a touch of class there, green side, below the green. Some of the best of the best were in desperate need of some great shots like Danny Lee. Yeah, putting from right where he's supposed to there. Right in the middle of the green. Aaron Wise for birdie, saw the approach. Goes down the hill towards the water. Have to be careful with speed and, well, read everything about it. That it was. What a run, too. I just feel like Aaron Wise has got a breakout season coming. He's been pretty good, but. Give him credit then sometimes. Rom, this for birdie to get it to five under. Yeah, just under hole high. A little to the right going across the green and boy oh, does he look oh, good with the putter right now man this whole location cut just nine off from that front right well done just nice spin control right just underneath the hole great look mm -hmm. sorry about that 96 yards slightly on the upslope here off the episode, but it's fly to this down. Really good looking shot. Yeah, yeah. He and Brad Pullen, his instructor, shot. were working real hard yesterday to get things dialed in late in the afternoon. Looks like they dialed it in nicely there. Little dog leg left to right. Has some oh, length. go ahead. Oh, that. oh, thank you, Pin. Why not? Go ahead. Look at that card. <laughs> Six under 30. A lot of ways start. to do it. Anders Albertson and his third here at the par five. And this pin to the back. You get the benefit of playing from that area on the green. Another man with three recent wins, Tony Finau at La Quinta at 14 for par. 14, a really good oh, hole over there at La Quinta. Probably the toughest hole on that golf course. 
Christian Besaid note earlier. Started his day at the 10th. This had four. Get it to three under. Yep. Clank. Nice. Second at the ninth at La Quinta for Fowler at two under. I really like the looks of his golf swing right now. Higher hands, better position. Well, usually produce shots like that. Pretty good result, too. Opening birdie at 10, coming into the clubhouse. Now Robert Streb at 18. They still have the front side to play. Oh, that one circles and drops. Hugged that left edge long enough to where it fell in. A moment ago, Michael Kim's third shot. There's a tricky little up and down. Gonna really feel like the club slides under. Need some spin, got it. Ah, well played. Really well played. How good was that? All of a sudden, we're seeing pitch shots going in. And yeah, we talk about how tough these shots are, but man, these guys are really doing well. There was a big comeback there. Down there a little bit in the decent lie. Yeah, got past that bunker yep. though, Jim, up that right hand side. So he's got a pretty good look at this back left hole location. And a pretty good result. It's feeding towards the hole. Will it? How good is that? I thought Russell Knox had a good shot in there. Burns now, second shot. From 131, that's gap wedge for Burns right at it, looking to continue that torrid start. Yep. Oh, is that Absolute any good? Green light situation, beautiful shot. Yep, good chance for Birdie at the ninth, almost giving that one. That's some good chances, missed a couple left, missed a one right. That's gotta go. Oh, he found his distance, he was just hitting too close. Oh, he's a good ball striker, good putt there. One. You will see a lot of golfers sort of create from here. They'll hit into different length follow throughs, vary flights. Luke just varies the speed of the swing. It's the same languid action. You see that just not as much leg action. It just brushes it back and through. Awfully simple and pretty reliable. Rowinski over at the Nicholas tournament course. I'm off the green trying to finish up with a birdie. Yes, I was approached. Just go through the green. Go down the slope now. Should break pretty good to the left. Get there. Something like Richie. that. A way to finish. Excellent. Be here at the ninth. Going up this slope a little bit. Just to, to get it to three under par. It does go up that slope slightly to the right. Slightly and in the hole. Well red. There you go. Nice pot. A little stroke. bit of everything in yeah. that round, that yeah. the last nine holes. Lots, a few squares, a few circles, 69. Yeah. Right this over, is last, yeah, John. Right over the top of the flag stick with his approach. Now it goes down the hill, has to be careful of speed. Will he do it? Yes, what a round of golf. Oh, he did. Close it out with a 62. Just hold your breath here when you hit this tee shot. I can't imagine trying to fit it in that back portion today. Oh, Jimbo straight up in the air here for Matty. Yeah, holding the get back there. Yeah, better than holding your nose. Well, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. What a play there by Matty Smith. Best of the day, yep. No worries. Ryan, a nice round of golf going. Down the hill, moving left to right, and good finish. And it won the Puerto Rico Open 2022. Third for Robbie Shelton over here at the stadium course on 16, the par five. 93 yards, has to control spin, front hole location. And he does, outstanding. World, his record has shown it the, you know, the, the last few tournaments that he's played. And I think he's a little upset that he's not higher in the ranking list. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.